Hello there and welcome back. Today we discuss about a new way I am creating music lately. And I will try to play while I'm talking. Let's see if I manage to do that. So as you might have noticed from the previous video where I was talking about creative blocks, sometimes I really need to uh, put things together in a different way, challenge myself in um, creating new workflow because I got very bored. So a uh, few things happened in the uh, previous weeks. First, I started learning how to use the matricial mode on the Oxy. Second, I wanted to introduce in my workflow the SP404 MK2 because I think it's a brilliant instrument and can really change the way I work with music. Third, I had a chat with this uh, friend of uh, mine that come visit the studio, Chris, and um, it's always interesting to know what, how and what uh, is resonating with other people and uh, he mentioned to me that uh, the the reason why he was uh, interested in my channel is because a few times I said that I always enjoy to start with very simple voices and through the use of effect create complex composition that make me think that sometimes I over complicate things uh, especially in the last few months where I tried to went in many different directions without really enjoying what I was doing. So I decided why don't he strip again the process and go with my favorite uh, raw oscillator synth which is the performer which is a very basic synth if you think about it had something that had texture like the strega which is still a very simple kind of synth and then create a, a soundscape garden. I don't know how to call it. Uh, all sequenced by Oxy. And at the end, in something that is really uh, outside my comfort zone, and I'm still learning it, so today is just gonna be here mostly for nothing, but at the end, I want to have the Roland SP404, which will allow me to sample what I'm doing, process it, and play other samples. So, ideally, this could be a setup that allows me to play my ambient kind of music in a little more free way, rather than having the octa track, everything on grid. So, let's see. I want to talk about that and play something. I already really like what's happening and this came out pretty organically and mostly randomly. Before going on, some way you can support my page, I really need your help guys to keep going in this uh, adventure. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, buy from the affiliate link down below same price for you and I get a tiny percentage and it's gonna really help me and then you can become Patreon. Patreon I go more in depth, I do one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, I doing an EP together with you, there's many projects coming on and it's the best way of course to support me. Okay, let's talk about what's happening here, how I set up things and why I think this could become my favorite ambient soundscape uh, sampling uh, garden. Garden, I liked it. That's the term. My meditation garden. So, first thing first, Oxy. I have four tracks in it. Track one is Matricial. Matricial is this unique mode uh, not that you cannot find in any other hardware sequencer in which you have four blocks of four. So, this is one, two, three, and four. And you can decouple all of the parameter that usually a sequencer has, tricks, notes, octave, uh, um, gate, each one can have a different length, a different um, division, different start and uh, ending. And I'm gonna do some demo about that very in-depth, it's pretty complex, 
happen pretty interesting if you are like generative dialogue with a machine. So first track is that, and it send uh, nodes to um, MIDI 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then, when I want, I have track 2. So let's... Track 2, it's uh, my um, chord. And when I use that, of course, I like to do this technique with the performance in which I set everything on MIDI channel one. I love these things of the performer. I can change the MIDI channel very fast. And now, now I have this chord. And uh, there's stuff happening, so let me. This is the clean sound of the performer. The fun part here is like I trigger chords made of a three note and the voice are shuffled each time. And so I can have voice uh, spread in different octave with different attack and release. So this will create ever changing a kind of um, chords. Also, it's fun to pan things around. Changing the play mode will change also how these sound. Now, you would say, again, this is a very simple sounding uh, sound, but what is amazing is like what I created here. But before, let's finish how I set up the Oxy. Uh, on track three, I have the same uh, same thing, but it's just a mono track. So I can rather play only on one MIDI channel, but what is fun, for example, is if I keep playing the same, uh, keep press the same note, it just cycle through the different channel. So I can have a, I can have a, a sequence going and some sound can be snappy. I really like playing like that. On track four, I have the Strega. Uh, it's a CV, uh, CV channel, so I deactivated the MIDI. It goes out through gate and CV. And the Strega. Here it is. I like to use it to create um, interesting um, soundscape. And I can, uh, of course, sequence to the oxy. So these are the basic sound. What's happened in the chain? Okay, so. The out of the Vermona go inside the mood, which became very fast, one of my favorite pedal ever. From the mood, channel one of the TX6. I love the TX6 because it allows me here to have a lot of control on the sound. So let's hear the first clean sound into the mood, into the TX6. TX6 can add if I want some effect let's deactivate for now and the mood had its own thing now this is something i sampled before and i can play now i could have used the mood in ascend and return but i enjoy the fact that i have it in 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 chain can create these things. Now what you hear is just mood and performer. I can add again. Now I have uh, the delay here. Let's see. Delay. I can uh, add another river, but I have many. I can add a chorus. And also 
I have this tremol effect on channel on FX2. Um, but the cool thing is that from here I go, I have few different uh, effects that I can play with. I'm using the hologram microcosm in sender return. So from the aux out, I'm go inside here and go back in the TX6 on channel 6. So I can decide pressing the aux button here which track is sent to the aux. And I just press the track and this button, and so now it's not sent, now it's sent. So I can decide between the strega and the aux and the vermona. As you can hear, now the sound goes here and back into the TX6. So now I have already a lot of sounds that I can build. Now, I could decide that this is enough but I wanted, of course, to have even more way to mangle. Now, it was quite a while I didn't use the Night Sky, which is probably my favorite Strymon pedal. And I like it um, used with the rooms. Both are reverb, yes, but they can do different things. So, why I love both of these pedals? Because they have the dry level and effects level separate is great because I can put it at the end of the chain have right now only the dry signal I like to have the room at the end because it kind of distort a lot so it helps me to set up the average volume I sent from the TX6 so I, I forgot to mention TX6 out goes first into the nice guy then into rooms I go out here not at the maximum level because this might distort otherwise. So first step, Night Sky. Night Sky I use it for especially because I like the interval, the shimmer interval. And the shimmer in the Strymon is super nice because you can use it in regeneration and that's the classic thing that the shimmer does, which is not my favorite things honestly. But if you put it on input, it will only uh, use the shimmer on the input stage. And so it's basically transposed somehow, but have this kind of vibe. And so I like to have the dry signal and then I can play with second, fourth, fifth or octave. And sometimes I just add a little, I can add some LFO to the verb to create some warbliness. play with the various uh, function here, high cut, low cut, so this add a new layer of it, and then last step we have rooms and it's always on, I like to use it on peak because I can filter the effect and then I can introduce. So it gives me this eye end that I can filter and see how just a bit of that add something that was missing before from the uh, frequencies. And sometimes I really like to just go this way So right now we are listening to everything going on. And now there's some texture made by the strega. Strega doesn't go into the microcosm, as you see the aux. When we are in aux page, the LED is off, means that this is not going there.
I can over uh, dub here. Because every single part here can create beautiful variations. See, we are going in a different direction. And that's it, you can play for hours. Now, why this at the end? Oh, exactly. Uh, not for that. So, my idea here is having a way of uh, recording what I'm doing, and yes, I can do it on the computer, but I wanted everything on my table, I don't want to swing by. So, first, I can use all the various effects. I can also mango whatever but the interesting part is like it's very simple to resample what I'm hearing so let's say I want to record uh, something so this is for example something that I recorded before so but let's say I want to record these I would select a pad I would go in record select pad for recording, I could have recorded now, so let's select pad 1, now it's waiting, when I press rec it will do a countdown and I can then record, so let's do it. And now we can, we can play with what we have. Whenever I'm ready, I just press again, record the completed, so now I depress external source so I don't hear anything that is happening, and look at this, everything is in my bed already. From here, what I can do is, you know, resample this, mango, play, I have, if, if I go here in start end, I will see. I can normalize. Uh, now, of course, uh, the gain staging might not be the best, because uh, for recording video, uh, I, it's always complex to do good, uh, good gain staging. But now I have this, and who knows, I can reuse it later. For example, this is a very nice soundscape. Um, And it's very very easy to resample. For example, if I like what I did now and I want to save, record another wave, I just go in resample, press uh, pad 3, and now press a pad to start. Whatever I press, it will be the recording will start. So press this. And I even in this case, I can uh, play with uh, everything and then now I have everything here. So it's a really fun uh, workflow that I never had before because I can then start resample, recreating, uh, mangling things and come out with very interesting texture. For example, this is something that I recorded before that I really like. If we go back to the uh, situation here, what I like to do, for example, it's now I go, I want to play a sequence, so I have a matricial sequence, I will play it. 
and then I can remove the part When I will have a lot of sample here, I could also trigger, I don't know, whatever kind of sample I want, field recording things. I can also start a sequence on the uh, strega. I can also use the strega with the... with the... Uh, this guy. And here, no, it should work, okay, CV gate, it is that one, gate one, let me see if I set up everything, no, here it is, now it is, exactly, so now I have also this trigger. And then I can hear. Nice. And let's say I want to now to send this to the microcosm. I press activate. And now it's going here. Also, I can add effects here. And maybe I want to play some party here. Now I change the pitch, so this... Uh, So on and on and on. So that's about it. I think this is a very, very fun and powerful way of experimenting with music. I want to keep my table free a little like this and just have uh, this setup on. It's basically most of my favorite instrument all together and I think it's a very easy, spontaneous way to create sounds, which I really love. Like, for example, what I'm hearing now, it's beautiful. And it's like how I collected my effects to work together. These, I think, it's this setup here, it's amazing. Maybe what I want to add it's a delay, which I don't have now, and I'm thinking about that LVX. The only problem with the LVX, my LVX is a pre-production that doesn't work with the Strymon AC here, so I have to buy something else. I want to chalk. Uh, and that's it. I hope this was fun as it is fun for me. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna record some stuff and I will see you next week. Please remember to hit the like button, subscribe and support 
this old guy. <laughs>